Hey guys, what's going on? Back again with another Zombies video. And for this one, I want to look back at the Treyarch video they uploaded back in June 2021, where Craig Houston, who's the lead writer, interviewed uh, the voice actress for Samantha Maxis. Uh, and it was around, I believe, after maybe Firebase Z. And in the video, they talked about maybe the future of Samantha Maxis. And Craig and Julie Nathanson end up getting... Uh, really sad and I think Julie Nathanson even starts crying when they talk about Samantha Maxis and how much she loved the character uh, and again if we're looking back at maybe Black Ops 4 maybe the Ether story uh, it always looks like Treyarch is trying to slowly move away from the Ether story because uh, as we know now flash forward in the future uh, Vanguard is getting a lot of hate from the zombie youtubers because if it's not Ether story uh, related or the original ether story premise story uh, it looks like the zombie youtubers are always not going to be happy um, and that's even not even talking about how difficult uh, vanguard zombies is for the zombie youtubers but uh, i don't want to talk too much about that but like i said just to kind of look back and maybe look at the present time how uh, everybody's always going to love the ether story because of nostalgia and maybe because of the character and something that I mentioned a few months ago too is it takes a lot of time for people to start liking a new character or liking a new storyline. You think about maybe the new kid in school, maybe the new person at your job, uh, maybe if your parents get remarried, you get new step uh, brothers and sisters. It's going to take a while for you to really start liking them and stuff like that. So it looks like they're always trying to, which is a good thing, they're always trying to look um, move away somewhat from the Ether storyline maybe look into uh, other stories, other characters, and stuff like that. And even looking back again on Cold War, a lot of people uh, love some of the characters that we got along the way, Peck, uh, and stuff like that. So a lot of those new characters, people ended up falling in love with. So it's kind of a good idea, and even talking ahead really quickly to Black Ops 6, uh, and then I'll go back to um, the alternate endings and stuff like that. In Black Ops 6, I, I, I mentioned before that that's something that I'm really pushing for a real advocate for is uh, let every single game in a way be its own little story and bubble and then when we start with black ops 6 and that again is probably why cold war was so successful is it had a little bit of ties to the ether story but it was it's still its own story altogether and i think that's something that they need to do in black ops 6 uh, is let cold war be its own story people can dive into it and try and piece stuff together and at the same time, Black Ops 6 could be its whole new story and new characters, but still have a little bit of ties um, to the Dark Ether and to the Ether story. Uh, again, people are going to argue that, well, Vanguard is quote-unquote failed, but it's only failed because it's difficult. It's too difficult for the toxic zombie YouTubers that are not good at zombies, uh, and uh, it's not good for the casual player because after round maybe 10 or so, it gets... Uh, a little bit difficult. I've mentioned before, it's no secret that it's only guns and zombies. Uh, you get the ray gun and you get a shield. That's it. You barely get any perks. You barely get any extra uh, special specialties or anything like that. So, again, uh, it's not like the old school zombies where you get five, six, seven wonder weapons, uh, shields, and stuff like that. Um, you don't get perkaholics. You don't get eight different perks and stuff like that. Um, Vanguard is, is difficult, so that's in its own. So back to the story again. Um, what we had back then in June is pretty much Julie Nathanson and Craig saying goodbye to the Samantha character and goodbye to Julie Nathanson, thanking her for voicing Samantha Maxis over the years. And this looks like it was the original ending. Um, now i'm going to talk about the original ending and then the second alternate ending which was the one again that we got in cold war where samantha defeats uh and requiem defeats uh the forsaken one zykov banishing um it back to the dark ether now the original storyline the hints and clues that you want to look at is number one the length of this video the treyarch video is 16 minute and 43 second and it, Everybody knows the way Treyarch hides Easter eggs is usually the length of the video, stuff that's in the video. So in Lovecraft lore, 
the year 1643 is very important. So I'm not going to give all the answers away or all the secrets away um, for the original ending. But going by the clues that we have, it's uh, Lovecraft 1643 is really important. Um, Craig and Julie saying goodbye to the Julie Nathanson, uh, to, sorry, to the Samantha Max's character. Uh, those are some major clues that you might start piecing together of what the original ending was supposed to be like. Uh, again, 1643 Lovecraft. Lovecraft has been since Black Ops 3. Um, maybe in Black Ops 2, one of the bigger stories, uh, or if not the biggest story, or inspiration uh, for Treyarch Zombies. So 1643 Lovecraft, uh, you know, Samantha Maxis' character uh, looks like it was, she was going to get killed off. Now, I'm not going to tell you how or what uh, or too many more specifics. The only other thing is uh, that they can possibly use the original ending. Uh, for Black Ops 6 or retcon it, maybe even use it in COD Mobile somewhere down the road. Uh, but it looks, again, like uh, they were going to kill off the character. I'm not going to tell you how or what um, or how they were going to do it. But pretty much it looks like piecing all the clues together and knowing the inspiration for Cold War. If you do your research, uh, you can start piecing stuff together. Again, um... Not, I don't want to sound like one of those fake leakers, fake insiders, fake news people where I, tr you know, tell people, well, I'm not going to give my secrets away or my sources away because m probably 10 out of 10 times, those people who say stuff like that, they have no insider, they have no dev, they have no employee that are giving them information. It's just them, you know, trying to grow their channel, which I totally understand. Um, it's no secret that those people do that to grow their channel. Or it could be a big channel creating a fake Twitter, fake um, Reddit account. Because with those accounts, all you need is an email and you can start an email um, account for free anywhere, any of the main places you can go. So a lot of times when you hear, I don't want to relay or I don't want to reveal my secret to my insider or my leaker because I don't want to get them in trouble. It's because they don't um, have anybody. It's just stories that people are making up, headcanon, fan fiction that they're making up. Uh, it could be a small channel. It could be a big channel, like I said, creating a, a second account uh, to make it sound like they have some type of insider uh, and stuff like that. So for me, I'm, I'm not going to say it because... The original ending to Cold War can still be used, maybe in the the later game. If you know Black Ops Six comes around, I'll probably make uh, make a video talking about the original uh, Cold War Zombies ending that we were supposed to get, the specifics about it. Whereas again, we got the Forsaken being defeated by Samantha, um, and again, a lot of it you can tell. Is because they're slowly always trying to look away uh, or walk away from the ether storyline because of what happened with chaos again some of the clues I'm um, just gonna go over some stuff again and then kind of leave it with that some of the clues that uh, Craig uh, or Treyarch ends up using is 1643 um, a lot of people still don't even know that Cold War is based in Lovecraft lore so that's something that people still haven't figured out. They think it's like more realistic, real life uh, zombies, but it's not. It's still in the Lovecraft uh, lore. And again, 1643, the original ending that we're supposed to to get. And I'm trying to think what else, what other clues I can give without giving it away, because like I said, so again, the main thing is also Firebase Z, where Firebase Z, a lot of people still don't see the connections that obviously it's supposed to mimic uh, or parallel Richtofen coming out of the teleporter and the giant we're at the same thing with Firebase C is we don't know I think it's Tank Dempsey that says it you don't know what evil you're going to release or bring into our world when he tells the Ultimus Richtofen not to open the teleporter because um, and it goes in other books and movies and stuff like that, and even Lovecraft stuff, 
when you're filling around interdimensional stuff, you can <laughs> you can bring something from another dimension that might look like uh, a person, but it might not be that person. Uh, the other clue you might want to look into, uh, which I'm not going to remember the name, but it's a movie in space, and uh, it's about black holes, and end up getting, going into a the black hole and then creatures from that dimension in the black hole ends up you know coming into our world and stuff like that so again firebase z is somewhat supposed to parallel the giant where we think it's richtofen coming out of the teleporter same thing with uh firebase z we think it's samantha maxis uh and then uh, ultimately like i said trix ends up changing the storyline and uh, giving us uh, the final ending that we ended up getting. If they're gonna call, you know, call back or reference the original ending we we're supposed to get in Cold War, I'm actually interested to see if that's gonna happen in Black Ops Six. Anyways, I'll leave with that. I'll see you guys later.